Let's see here. I think we're good. Uh, what's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Oldish. Oldish22, of course. But uh, this is Anime Talk with Oldish, episode 21. And today I'm by myself. I haven't had a solo episode. God, I don't even know the last solo episode I did. I don't know, probably like three months ago, maybe. Maybe. Uh, no, I didn't get a guest today. Um, so I said, screw it. I'm going to do a solo podcast episode, which is fine. I'm going to talk about <clears throat> what I've been watching and stuff. It might be a shorter episode since I'm by myself. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to just dive into what we've been watching. I mean, the wife been watching, I should say. Um, and yeah, um, maybe not too many much, too much news, but, um, we do have a few new shows that I, I started to watch, so. Uh, God, I gotta, like, sneeze here. <laughs> it's a great start, great start. Um, anyways, I'll start with... I want to talk about Dr. Stone, I think, is the first one. The newest episode, so spoiler warning. If you haven't watched any Dr. Stone, are you not caught up to Dr. Stone? Because I am talking about episode 15, which is the newest episode of Dr. Stone right now. Um, then yeah, I will say, uh, yeah, spoilers. One sec though. Okay. God, of course I have a sneeze attack. No, oh, my allergies are what, but whew. Anyways, Dr. Stone. If my nose stops here. <laughs> ah sorry. I'm sorry. This is a wonderful start, man. One sec. All right, all right. I think it should be good. Should be good. All right, we're just gonna restart. All right, this is anime talk with oldish because we're gonna get rid of that part. <laughs> so I'm like a sneeze attack, you know. Anyways, so this is anime talk with oldish episode 21. Welcome everybody. My name is oldish, and uh, yeah, we're gonna talk some anime. I'm um, doing a solo episode today, and yeah, we're gonna rock to what I've been watching, and I uh, got a few new uh, animes actually because. Uh, the new ones uh, finally came. Uh, fall season, right? Yes, fall season. Um, so, I'm going to start with Dr. Stone. And if you have not watched Dr. Stone at all or have not or not caught all the way up, I am just going to advise you with spoilers because I am going to talk about the newest episode because I thought this newest episode was probably one of the best ones, to be honest with you. Um, so, just so you guys know, spoilers, spoilers. Uh, so, Dr. Stone, we finally get to um, to the end of the tournament, right? Yes. I'm trying to make sure. I might be mixing up two episodes, but... Because um, I'm trying to remember. I think the last week was when... Maybe they win? No. Okay. So, I think the tournament is... No, no. This was the finish. Sorry. I'm, like, having a hard time remembering now. Uh, so, we got the winner of the tournament. Obviously, Zenku is the winner. Um, which is funny because it wasn't supposed to be him, but, uh, in the end it turned out to be him, but he doesn't care. He, you know, only has one goal and that's to save, uh, the sister there, uh, the princess. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just funny. But the good thing about this episode is first he was really worried because she was splitting out blood and he knew time was coming, that he was running out of time. 
and he had to, you know, speed things up, of course, so that's what he does, and he, like, goes pretty much overdrive to, uh, get the last few things that they needed, and then they, uh, once he moves that along, whatever, he finally gets to where he makes the antibiotic, and, um, but he, I think, he wasn't sure, he was trying to guess, like, what she had as a sickness, like, like what if she had like some kind of disease because he was wondering because uh there was a rat that he's seen and he did a little uh uh cutting up the rat there the fine because he the rat had something and I, I don't know why i'm like drawing a blank today oh you spank that anime i'm gonna spank it reaping it's just me today man and chat we got chat here though we always have chat so um just talking about dr stone's the newest episode of dr stone and uh so yeah, he's he's try to diagnose like what she has and then he finally figures out what she has and he's very thankful that sucks no no it's all good man it's all good i got you chat i got you all right no no i i haven't done a solo i was doing a bunch of solo episodes um like when i first started this podcast you never seen uh dr stone oh dude it's good it's good it's really good um but yeah, the really cool thing that I loved about this episode was um, the sister there, she always kept like going to get clean water so that she could like bathe or whatever. And like, I like how Senku and how they set it up is like, Senku said like she technically saved her life because she's been doing this every day. And because otherwise, if she didn't do that, the the disease, it was pneumonia. Um, would have killed her so her sister in a way definitely saved her so Senku's like well she actually saved her so yeah it was like a little sad you know little sad uh episode there but it was cool it was really cool like a good sad guess I'll have to watch it if you recommend yeah dude I, I I highly recommend it so that's pretty much Dr. Stone really enjoyed the episode probably one of the best episodes uh of yet um the show has been really good if I had to give it out of like a one out of ten, so I was thinking about this. I was gonna, I was thinking about starting to rate them. I like rating things. They kind of give you an idea like where, um, uh, I don't know where like the series fits for me. So like, I was thinking of like my rankings too. I was thinking like zero is this like, don't waste your time. Pretty much like don't waste your li- like. You're wasting your life if you watch this. That's, that's like a zero. And I think one, I was like, let's see. One was, I think it was like just like trash. Two was like really bad. So, no. Three was really bad. Four, or no, three. Oh my God. Zero is you're wasting your life watching this. One is trash. Two, really bad. Three would be bad, and four would be like, where would I put four? Not, not, not good. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. Five to me is like an okay. Then six was good. Seven was seven would be, or no, six was decent. Seven is good. Eight is really good. Nine is amazing, and ten is the best anime of all time. And if I had to put Dr. Stone in one of these categories, right now I'm thinking it's a number eight. I think it's really good. I really do. I really enjoy it. I like the comedy. I like that I can like learn stuff. I like it's just a very unique anime in a way that is a lot different than any other anime I've seen. So just the whole general idea of it, and it's just really cool. And uh yeah, you just really enjoy the characters and stuff like that. So I highly recommend watching Dr. Stone. Um <coughs> I'm like losing my voice. Um, now I'll jump over to probably Vinland Saga. I'm not going to talk too much about Vinland Saga, but I do want to say one thing about Vinland Saga. This episode was freaking. This episode was dark as hell. Like holy shit. Like really, really dark, and not in a like not in a good way at all. Like bad. Um. I I just I just don't get it with um what's his name? It's a Ask Askeland, right? The leader of the the Vinland group, the of the Danes there. 
Um, the previous episode we found out, again, spoilers. I'm going to talk about spoilers here. I'm, it's a solo episode. Uh, I'm definitely, like, throwing the spoilers out there. So I'm just, like, diving into the shows right now that I've been watching. Um, with Vinland Saga, though, with Asklin there, the previous episode we learned that he's from this country, from the Wales country, because they're going through Wales because they're getting chased by Thorkel. And they're going through this country, and it, they're already in, like, winter time in this country. And so, but we find out that he's from that country. Like, he, they know who he is and stuff like that. So what made this, like, really dark and made really confusing to me, because in the last episode, he said he hates the Danes. So I don't know if he's just, like, playing us or what. I just, I don't know. It's very hard to read this character, which I kind—I of, mean, it, story-wise, it's really good because it's hard to read what he's going to do. I because I just don't know. I I don't know. But anyways, pretty much this whole episode it wasn't like too much of an episode. I think it was just showing how dark the Danes are, and like what they do and stuff like that, and what they did, and because that's pretty much the base of this episode is they went and they they pillaged a village. Is what they did, and what they what they did is they they stole all their food, of course, everything because they needed it because they're in they're in winter, their guys are hungry, whatever this and that. It's to pretty much to survive. But the thing is, um, one of the the village guys is like, oh, just leave us half the food, you know, we can survive winter still. Well, they didn't even have enough. I can't remember how many people they said that it would feed. But they got all their food and it still wouldn't be enough for all their guys. So there was no way that they were going to give half or whatever. And he's like, well, he's like, well, you don't have to worry about winter. And the guy's like, oh, really? And he's like, yeah, you won't have to worry about any winters. And I was like, oh, shit, dude. And the and this village has kids and it has babies. And, and it's pretty much a base village. Like, I think only... <clears throat> like 80 people very small village and well guess what they did they freaking they killed all of them and they killed the whole freaking village i mean in a way if they stole their stuff the thing is that i'm really confused about it was his own people so but he says that he hates the danes but he's still willing to kill his own people to, i guess to get where he wants to get to I like I don't I don't know. Maybe he's trying to get power to his people, but he has to sacrifice. You know, cause I don't know. Like I just I don't know what what his purpose is. And it's really hard. And we didn't even get anything of like Thorfinn in this episode. Like I don't I don't know what Thorfinn was doing. I I don't know. No idea. We, we didn't get this. I don't know if we get to see him at all in this episode. Um but yeah, it was just, it was dark. I was like, "Holy shit!" It wasn't like too bad, as in like visual, but just like the they they show like a little bit, but they don't like show who they're killing. They kind of like you know just like that. Like there's an axe that they show, and they come like it swings down, and there's like blood that hits. That's pretty much all they show. If you're like wondering, like what do they? They show like dead bodies, but they they don't show like anything like I would say super graphic, but still it's it's very dark and yeah um but yeah anyways it, it it was dark i still love the show it's just like holy shit i just don't know because asklin is like he's this very mysterious character and i just don't know which way or what he wants to do in a way so i don't know very good though. Enjoying the anime. Kind of curious to see where it goes. It kind of, it's kind of down. It's like a slow down moment though, to be honest, because they're kind of just like traveling now and they're going through. But we're learning more about Asklin, so it's still very interesting. But it's a little bit slower. Um, but yeah, and I want to see Thorkell. You know, I want to see Thorkell fight. I do like the new opening though for Vinland Saga. I, I actually do. I still like the first one better, but the new one's pretty good too. Um, so that's my villain saga. If we're going to do, if I'm going to do rating to me, I think Vinland saga is a nine. I think, I think it's pretty amazing. I, I, I really enjoy this show. It's kind of up there with like demon slayers as well. Uh, it might be above demon slayers, but I can't say for sure right now because demon slayers was really good. I mean, I don't know. 
I gotta see how Vinland Saga finishes, and then I can see which one I liked more. Um, cause there's like moments where I like, um, like, oh, like, I don't know, towards the end, I like Demon Slayers a lot kind of thing, you know, just like different times of the, the series. I like them. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's Finland Saga. Definitely. I, I, I recommend it for sure. I, it is a darker anime, but it's, it's very good. It's very good. Um, so I watched Vinland Saga, Doctor Stone, and then I have I'm gonna I'm talk about Radiant. I, I just started watching Radiant, and Radiant is to me decent because it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm watching it in dub. I might like it more in sub because the the voice actor for the dub and and Ra- Radiant is like okay, but like I feel like he's like over the top in a way. I don't know. Like, he's not Asta. He's kind of like a little, like a tier below Asta. And then it, the the anime has some, like, uh, like corny moments. Like, just like jokes that just don't land. And I don't know. It's, but in a way, it's still good. Like, the world is really cool. And I like the whole, like, sorcerer thing going on and stuff like that. But, like, I don't know. Like, I, I enjoy it, though still I, I really do i just i don't know if like i can recommend it because i i gotta see where it goes like i see if it, get, it gets better um to give you an idea i said it's decent so like a six out of ten right now so there's this moments i like and i really want to see where it can go because it, it gets a season two right now uh in the fall they just started season two so uh i'm gonna see where that one goes i like the chick though that he just ran into i'm only on like episode six or seven right now and uh the sorceress chick that he ran into i I like uh, a lot she's very cool she kind of has that um what is it uh oh what's that girl's name from dragon ball oh man the one that had the if she sneezed she like changes personalities because supposedly each character like everyone like each sorcerer has like a curse it seems like i don't know if everyone does but so far the few that we have seen like they have curses on them so um but yeah it's it's decent it's decent um i don't know if i can recommend it yet though Uh, unless you're like really it reminds me a lot of fairy tale but like a tier below fairy tale um so yeah i watched that i also i also watched uh, i'll talk about my hero so here's it my Hero uh, Season 4, Episode 1. Uh, spoilers, but not big spoilers. Because if you watch Season 4, Episode 1, mostly recap. I'm excited for the series, but I was bummed because this episode was like half recapped. You got to see a little bit of new stuff, but not much. Like, not much at all. It was very, uh, what I call the chill episode. So it was a very chill episode. Kind of getting you back in the thing, introducing the characters. I just don't understand with the recap. Because they did it in season three, episode one. I'm pretty sure it was season three, episode one, where they recapped. They had the pool episode, and they were like, "Oh, this is what we've been doing," you know. I'm like, "I don't need. I know what you've been doing. It's my hero. I know." All right, like this one, they 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 showed like, "Oh, the, this guy." They showed all their quirks, like, "Oh, he has this quirk, she has this quirk," and then it. Uh, and they showed like their costumes and stuff. I'm like, I know this shit. I don't, I don't need. <laughs> we're we're four seasons in. You know, it's like over 50 episodes. I don't need to know. But whatever. It's a recap episode. Um, I am excited. I'm really curious to see what that. Uh, I don't know the girl with horns there. Uh, what she? Why she's important? Because we've seen it in the opening. I did like the opening. Um, not my favorite opening, but like. I do like it. Um, I'm very curious why she's very important. I don't know if it's because of her quirk or if it's someone like she's really important to somebody. I don't know. So uh, I'm really curious to find out what's going on there. Uh, but overall, I thought that was an okay episode. Um, yeah, I, I'm very excited. It seems like next week we'll get like a real episode of My Hero. So. Yeah, pretty excited for that. Um, what else did I watch? Oh, the new One Piece episode. One Piece has been pretty good. 
last last week's episode of One Piece was pretty lit. I'm not gonna lie. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, and, and it seemed like the animation was really really good in it too. It's pretty much uh, the guy with the lion belt there. Um, pretty much Luffy saving her, and I, I just like the moment where Luffy finds out she was like pretty much tortured. And you know, you know how Luffy gets when you piss him off, right? When you piss him off, he, you know, he gets that that look, that Luffy look, that intense uh, look, like oh, he's about to fuck your shit up, pretty much, you know. So yeah, <laughs> that's that's the look, and. Uh, yeah, it was just a very good moment, very cool, very good animation of it, and just like kind of give you that feel a little bit. You're like, oh shit, Luffy. But <clears throat> that was in the previous episode. That was a really good episode. This episode wasn't too bad. Uh, I think I would like to see Law and Hawkins fight a little bit longer, but I don't think we're going to get that. Or no, we're not going to get that because Law got picked up by Luffy and them. Um, they, they, they like teased it in a way. It was like a tease fight. Like, oh yeah, Luf or, uh, Law and Hawkins gonna fight. But they just did a little bit. It, it was cool. It's just like, I wish it was longer, you know? Um, but, uh, like I said, that fight might happen later on. That might just be a rematch. I don't know. I feel like Law would destroy him, though. I really do. I don't, I don't know. Like, Hawkins is OP, but he... I mean, if you, look how many slashes he took. I get, you know, I don't know how many people he has for like his souls or whatever. But I don't know. I feel like Law could beat him unless Hawkins, Hawkins might have more up his sleeve. But for right now, I don't know. I just I feel like Law could win that fight though, pretty good. Um. So, but the thing that's very interesting about One Piece that's going on is because Luffy is like messing up, you know, messing up plans because Law's mad at him now because. He took out one of the, I don't know, I think you'd say generals of Kaido's, right? And obviously information's going to get out. And you know how that goes if Kaido finds out. They said that, a lot said it was part of Jack. Like Jack already knows about it or something like that. And he's probably going to come. I, I'm wondering if like they'll run into Jack and, I mean, Jack, I imagine Jack could beat Luffy. But I feel like... I don't I don't want the Zoro and Jack fight this early. I mean maybe I do. But I mean I do want to see. I just I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. I did I maybe I do want it. I I want Zoro to have a real fight. But it just seems like way too early of the arc to have that fight. You know, I I feel like that should be towards the end of the arc, but depends what goes down in the end of the arc. If it's all the Yonkos fighting and shit like that, I don't know. So, I just want Zoro to have a real fight. I want to see him go. I want to see him open up his eye. All right. That's what I want to see. Um, but, yeah. So, One Piece was good. It's been pretty good. I'm, I kind of wish we could go faster. I hate watching it week by week. But I enjoy it at the same time. It's just rough. Because it's like, I just want to keep watching. But, no. I can't. Um, but, yeah. That was One Piece. What else did I watch? Talk about Radiant. Um... I watch any more one episoders? I don't. I don't think so. Supposedly, I think Seven Deadly Sins is out yet, but I haven't watched Seven Deadly Sins because I feel like you have to watch that on a website because technically Netflix owns that. So unless you wait for Netflix to come out with it, but I I don't think they'll come out with it for a long time. I I don't know. I'm not. I'm not saying go watch it on a website. I mean, no matter what, like I'm gonna buy it. So, but. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I think you have to watch it on one of those pirate websites, so, which is unfortunate because I, I wish Netflix would do it like episode by episode, but I don't think they, they don't do that. So it'd be cool if they did. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe they will do it. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I haven't checked. So if they did that, then I won't have to worry about it. Then, you know, I'm going to buy it anyways. <laughs> um, so yeah, I need to watch some Daily Sins. Also, Ruby should be starting here pretty soon. If uh, any Ruby fans, um, I'll definitely be watching that, going through that uh, week by week. I think that starts very soon, actually. Maybe next week. I'm not 100% sure on that. And yeah, I think that's all I watched this week. I watched a few. I'm, I'm trying to make sure I didn't like skip a series that I watched. I don't. I don't think I I missed too much. 
Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for the anime talk with Oldish. I think, like I said, this is probably going to be a lot shorter episode just because it's just me today. Uh, I don't know where Boxman is. Boxman's probably working. Maybe. I don't know. Or or something. He's sleeping one or two. Or watching TV. Or eating salsa. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't really like... I always put in Discord if you guys want to ever be on the show. Just, you know, hit me up. And we can just BS about anime. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be pretty much like a review of what I've been watching. And uh, yeah, pretty basic uh, episode here basic um but yeah just chilling you know i'm gonna be uh streaming here in a little bit just gonna use the bathroom and stuff like that but i'm oldish 22 if you guys want to follow me on twitch.tv slash oldish 22 or at twitter at oldish 222 three twos there and uh oldish 22 pretty much everywhere else and i'll see you guys next week next week i should have a guest i'm gonna look for some guests and uh yeah it'll be a good time so anyways, I appreciate it, and I will see you guys on, if you guys are going to hang out, we'll be playing some video games here. Until next time, all right? Have-